Hey everyone, this is Brett from Link Digital, and um, in this video, I am going to extend what we have done in the previous video where um, we had created um, a function called group create, which meant that um, only administration administrator users could create groups within CCAN. Um, within our extension that's um, that's running. Um, so with this video, <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna update that function. So if you're a member of a certain group, then you will be able to create a group, a new group. Um, but if you're not a member, then you won't be able to, to do that. Um, this will kind of showcase um, the CCAN extension toolkit, which is like a wrapper around the various action functions and classes and, ex and exceptions that are available um, to uh, when you create a, a CCAN it's extension. Um, so it's preferable to use the toolkit for making changes to the extension rather than using the um, kind of the core actions um, directly. Um, and this will sort of show um, how we, we do that. So the first thing we'll do is we, as we normally do, is we've got to start um, up the CCAN development uh, containers. Um, so let's build the images first. I'll pop that knee up there so we can look at the log files. And bring up the containers. So if you remember, we have um, we have an administration user, ccan underscore admin. I created a new user called single pigeon, and um, I also created um, a new group called pigeons. Um, and single pigeon is a member of the pigeons group, um, and that will be the group that has that will have the ability to create new groups within CCAN. If you're not a member of that group, then you will not be able to do that. So we're going to show how that works within code. Um, so we just wait for CCAN to come up. Um, wait for that line that says that it's listening on port 5000. Okay, so here it is. Here's the line that we've been waiting for. So CCAN is up and running. So let's log in um, with our Brave browser. I'll bring that over so you can see. Um, should I put myself down here for this? Um, so let's log in. Um, we'll log in as the administration user first. And just have a look around. So we see with our organizations, we have one organization, Pigeon HQ, which we would already created. We have uh, a group called Pigeons. And if we look at that group, at the members, we see we have two members, the admin user, my current user that I've logged in as, and sing, this single Pigeon. Um, there he is. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to create a new user. So I will log out. 
and I will register the new user and I will call him single seagull and yeah, that's the right spelling. So single seagull s seagull at seagull.com. Yeah, okay. And give him a password. Oh, I have a photo for him, so we can create him. There he is. There's single seagull. Now we will log out and let's log in as single seagull and let's look at the groups actually yeah so okay so single seagull see we don't have and the new group button here. So single seagull is unable to create um, a new group, which is what we expect. Now we're going to log in as single pigeon. And we see the same thing. So single pigeon cannot create a group and single seagull cannot create a group. So the next thing we do is we want to update um, the code. Now let me drag the um, uh, VS Code IDE over so you can see what I'm doing. And yeah, you can see me okay here. So this is the so this is the auth. Um, file that we changed last time and we see that um, in the group create function that only an admin user will be able to create groups no one else is be able to create groups here um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to completely update this group create um, function and I'll let me drop that in and I'll explain what it's doing so group create now it's pretty much doing the same thing it's passing through some context and um, this context picks out the user puts them in this variable um, user underscore name and then we get um, the list of members of the pigeons group puts it in this variable here and we pick out the member IDs and save that off into that variable and then we do some conversion stuff here and we then check to see whether or not the user ID is in the member IDs and if it's if the user ID is a member of that group then we return true success and um, if it's not then we return false and the message that says only pigeons are allowed to create create groups so the pigeons being the actual uh, group that um, that we have created before Okay, so let's save this off here. And as we know, because we're running in this development environment, oopsie daisy, we see that the changes have been activated here and we can log in. Let's log out first. So I've logged out, let's log in. Now log in a single pigeon. 
Now remember, single pigeon is a member of pigeons. So we sh theoretically should be able to create a group. And there we see the add group button now exists for the single pigeon user. Um, so we're actually able to create a new group, which is great. It means that um, we have changed the ability to create a group to a special group itself. Um, we can show that now that if we log out and log in as single seagull, and we go to groups, we don't have the new group button. So single seagull is um, unable to create groups. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this is useful in showing um, that the CCAN toolkit is um, a bunch of, like a wrapper of um, actions that we can, um, to we can use to make changes to a new CCAN extension. Okay, thanks for watching.